Welcome to Unit 4, Chapter 1. We are going to look at the basic skills that you need to know for Excel. All right, the first one is how to merge and center. So usually your title is merged and centered with the longest line um, the last to the up to the last column. So we're going to select across. I'm just going to select A, B, C, 1. All right, and then I'm going to go up here and click on Merge and Center. Then I'm going to go up to my cells, cell styles, and I'm going to add a heading to it. There we go. So this is normal. This is what you normally do. And then we want to merge and center April expense budget B3 through C3. So we're going to um, merge and center that. And then I would apply some kind of cell heading. It's up to you, the size. I'm going to put in a, a heading three. All right. And then where I have budget amount and actual amount, see how you can't really see that? We need to wrap that text so we can see it. So I'm going to go up here to my icon and click on wrap text. And I will center that. And then I can use my format painter tool if I go up here and click on that. And then come down to C4, select that. It will carry that, that formatting across to the next cell. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a cell style. Uh, maybe heading four. There we go. And so I have all of my headings in now. So the next step is to do some basic formulas. Before I do that, I'm going to put my cursor in B10, this is the last item or product in the expense budget. And I'm going to select across. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on bottom border. So I have a line that separates my individual product totals with my sum. Now to calculate the sum, I'm going to put my cursor in B11. You need to put your cursor where you want the formula to go. So I want it in B11. So I'm going to go over here to the right where it says editing and I'm going to click on my drop down and I want to click on sum. Notice I have little dancing ants that go around the um, formula. If I look in my sum, it says it's going to add up B6. The colon means through B10. And that's exactly right, so I'm going to hit enter. Then what I can do is I can use my fill handle, which is this little handle in the corner, and drag it across, and it will copy the formatting for the next cell. So here I have C6 through C10. Now I want to find the maximum number. It's easy to find the maximum number when you have such a few amounts, but if you had pages of data, then you would want to use a shortcut. So that's what we're going to learn. We're going to put our cursor where we want the formula to go, B12. Then we're going to go to Auto Sum. We're going to click on Max. And notice that it's doing B6 through B11. Well, we only want it to go through B10. So I'm just going to reselect that and hit Enter. Then I'm going to copy that across. I'm going to do the same thing for my minimum. I want my lowest number. Again, I want only B6 through B10. I'm going to hit enter. I will copy the formatting across using my fill handle. And then I'm going to do my average. And I will do the same thing here. Oops. There we go. Let's try that again. And then I will copy that across. And so there is my basic formulas. So you want to do this much in your document. So find your activity one, the basics, and then you will do the same thing I just did um, in practice one. Thanks for watching.